Hello, YouTube. It's your girl Keisha and Laundry, and I'm back with another video. I said I'm back with another video. So I'm sitting in front of Trout River. I'm about to pull off now. I got off of work this morning, and I decided to come down here and get me some shrimps. And uh, so they sell large uh, head-on shrimp. I get three pounds for eighteen dollars. Oh, I need power steering fluid. I told y'all, this car, me and this car, we got beef. Beef and macaroni noodles. But, um, but yeah, I'm heading on out to the street now. Okay, now I'm safe. All right, yeah, so last night was kind of a good night, except for the alarm. The alarm system went off around 3.30 in the morning. Uh, but it didn't disturb none of the guests, thank God. But trust you me, if one person just so happened to have been up and heard that, they'd have been trying to get a discount. They'd have been trying to get a discount. I'll tell you, I, I, I may have said this before, and I don't care who take it wrong, but I just want to let black people know that y'all are the only ones who tell me it's a roach in y'all room. No other nationality come to the desk and say it's a roach in the room. So do me a favor. The next time you're traveling and you brought one of your roaches to the hotel with you, just kill it. Don't come to the desk. Talk about it's a roach in my room. Only black people come to the desk and say, now I've been in the business for 20 years. And um, no, no, no. No, I've had crickets, maybe a lizard, you know, other nationalities. But it's only my people who come to the desk and be like, it's a roach in my room. And I'll be like, a roach? I always repeat it, a roach? Ah, ayos meals. I don't know why they don't realize that that's their roach. Maybe they know their roaches were like purple bandanas. Maybe the purple bandana came off and travel, but that's y'all roach. It's just crazy. But I had some idiot trying to convince me to give him keys to somebody's car like boy go ahead somewhere valet not even open I, I, they, they find different ways to skim scam flim flam i had somebody call well during this pandemic someone called me in the middle of the night some kids and they called me and told me that i needed to get rid of all the linen in the hotel because um they were infected with the virus like they, they, I, they told me that they were the, the linen company and we had to get rid of the whole shipment that came in. I'm just like, people don't have nothing else better to do but to prank call people. Nothing else better to do. But I do also want to warn y'all that if you at a hotel and then somebody call your room and try to get um, your credit card numbers over the phone, we would never, ever do that. Please don't fall for that. So many people fall for that in Jacksonville. Um... I don't know how the scammers are sometimes able to get your name and um, call the hotel and stuff. Like, it's it's amazing. Like, okay, I've had someone, okay, they call the desk. Of course, in a greeting, I have to say my name. So, you know, hello, you know, this is Lakeisha. How, how may I direct your call? You know, and they'll get my name and then they'll hang up. And then someone else will call back. And they'll have the person's room number. So they'll ask for the person. And I'll connect them to the room. So now I don't even, like, before. But now, like, don't get mad at me at night. I'm not connecting nobody to nobody's room without calling them first. Because I learned my lesson the hard way. Especially moving down here to Jacksonville. Like, they some clever thieves. They are some clever scammers. So now they got my name. So now someone else calls the desk. And they'll say, um, say can I have the room for such and such? And then, like, you know, let's just say, can I have the room for Faith Carter? And then Faith Carter get on the phone. I connect you to Faith Carter. And Faith Carter get on the phone. And you tell them, this is Lakeisha call calling you from the front desk. Your card didn't go through last night. Oh, yeah. Clever. Your card didn't go through last night. Could you give me the card numbers again? Crazy. <laughs> just just skim scammers. I, I was at work one time in the, um, the server 
um, the server that was doing room service, he came up to the desk and he was like, I just wanted to make sure that was you I was just on the phone with. And I was like, no. He was like, so he said, I didn't think that was you because they said your name wrong. They said Leticia. So they must have tried to catch my name real fast and then call room service. And then they was trying to get information from room service, like card numbers, like what's that card number you just ran? This is Keisha at the front, Leticia at the front desk. What's the card number? What's the room? Like, no, we don't even do stuff like that. You know? So um, just be careful when you're traveling this summer. Please be careful. And like I told y'all, if a hotel is pet friendly, please bring your own washcloths and towels. Because people people wash their dogs up with those. They wash their pets and stuff up with those um, washcloths and towels at the hotel. They clean their pee up with it. You know, um, yeah. So just, just females, period, travel with your own washcloth and towel. You know, the towels is good to use for the pool. But don't ever put... Uh, um, hotel washcloth on your cooch please keep it keep it pristine but uh yeah it looks like it's probably gonna rain down here today even though it's beautiful it's been nice outside like it's been beach beach it's been beach weather and uh i've been wanting to go to the beach the restrictions was lifted as of monday and um so now i can relax because nobody i don't listen i don't want to just go to the beach to walk I want to go to the beach to uh, tan. Well, I don't even tan, but I love when the sun hit my body. Like, I don't even want no umbrella or nothing. You know, I just want to lay there and soak up the sun. It feels so good. Especially when you just got out the water. Oh, my gosh, it feels so good. Sandy toes and sandy cheeks. <laughs> I'm cheating. The sand come from in between your butt cheeks like in clumps. It's the most uncomfortable feeling. I like to go straight home from the beach, but for some reason, my family always got to stop at Little Caesar's Pizza. We did it that one time, and now it's become like the routine of it all. Go to the beach, stop at Little Caesar's Pizza. On your way to the beach, stop at the Dollar Tree first, one of the Dollar Trees out there, and then... <laughs> Go to the beach, and then after the beach, you go to um, go to uh, Little Caesars Pizza, but it'd be so uncomfortable. And I always think about back home where it's like no shirt, no shoes, no service. There ain't none of that down here because it's a beach town. People just walking around with no shirts, no shoes. You know, you can, if you're a guy, you can go in the whole store with just your um, your swim trunks on. Yeah. Yep, adjust your swim trunks on. I think we only was asked to put a shirt on one time. Jamia ran in somewhere. This is when we first moved here. And it was a pizza shop. And we was um, coming from Adventure Landing, which is like a small water, water amusement park. And um, we stopped to get pizza. And um, she went in with her bathing suit top on. And they told her she had to have on the whole top. And I think more so because that was more like a restaurant then a pe it, it was also like an Italian restaurant that sold pizza. You know what I mean? But um, other than that, ain't no none of that. No shirt, no shoes, no service down here. No shirt, no shoes. You get some service. But uh, but uh, yeah, I hope everything go well. I hope everybody just you know act like they got sense. Continue to wash their hands and stuff. And uh, I had Jamia sign up for that thousand dollars that they're giving out. Um, but I just want to, over the next couple of days, I just want to see how everything is going. But they've been saying the line is, it's like a 25 minute wait from the time you get into the line to the time you get to the front and you, um, they put the money on a card, you know, sort of like they did when they gave out the food stamps after one of those, um, hurricanes. I remember Bo went and stood in the line and I went to work and, um, I left work probably around 6 o'clock, 6.30 to go get in the line with them. And that line was, oh my God, that line was so long. Y'all, they gave me $1,500 in food stamps. I, I cried in front of that lady because I'm never eligible for anything. I've always worked my whole life. My kids, dad, they, they always paid child support. So I've always, and then my family size, I only had two kids. So I, my income bracket and my family size, I would never be eligible for nothing. No public health, yeah, no food. Um, no nothing i could get medical for my son they'll give me medical for my son but um but that's it and i'm grateful for that because uh, medical expenses is costly 
you know, but I cried. I couldn't believe it. I just knew I was like, I'm going to get up here and they're going to tell me, no, I can't have it. Like, I'm not eligible. But they gave, they literally gave it to everybody. Sometimes when things happen and I just be like, I'm in Florida, we'll be okay. Because it, it just seemed like Florida, um, like they have some kind of special fund. And I told, I, I may have told you about the teen parent program when I moved here. Like Faith was able to go to school for free. They picked her up from home, took her to school, fed her, taught her, and dropped her off at home. All because Jamia was a teen parent. All, all that was required of Jamia was to attend school. That was it. That was it. And they need programs like that everywhere. Like, you know how much help that would be to people, to like girls who, who have baby at a young age, you know, and don't have a support system? Thank God for Jamia, she got a support system. Oh, Lord, them kids be running me ragged. Three kids in the store is too much, especially that daggone Bella, because now she, she, I want to get, she want to get out. She want to run around. She didn't bust her lip one time real hard at Walmart. And Jamia was like, you could have stopped her. But it was just like one of those things where I could see her running into it, but it was like too late for me to stop it. And I was like in such a big shock that it was happening. That I was just, ah, and yeah, she bust her lip and everything in Walmart stopped. But by the time we got out to the car, she was back playing again because that's how kids are. <laughs> Resilient. <laughs> My old belly melly. Belly mel mel. My son's girlfriend, friend girl, she started working at um, Amazon today. But she's at a smaller, a smaller distribution center. And uh, I told her, I said, Chrissy, if you get there and it don't look right to you, just leave. Like, I understand she want a job and everything, but she enlisted. So she'll be she'll be leaving soon. She'll be leaving in a couple of months to go um, to go to basic training. So but I told her, you know, if it don't look right, then to go ahead and leave out. That's not the only job out there for you, you know. But uh. She told me um, during training that that things seemed pretty safe and, you know, how they had it distanced, um, how they had the the um, the cafeteria spaced out and things like that. And yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, this election is going to be a horrible mess. This election is going to be horrible. It's like, I don't want to vote for old Joe. Why is not no real good blood in the in the race? We can never get, like, no real good blood to keep us going. Like, when Obama ran, like, he, he, he it was like an electric jolt to the whole, to the whole world, so to speak. But especially to the United States, it was like, who, what is this? What, it's sort of like, like, when I discovered Vicki Diller on YouTube, I was like, who is this lady? Oh, my God. And she just freely talking like this? Like, let me pray perk up let me see what vicky diller is saying like it just be refreshing to see people like speak with no holds bar and no you know unapologetically just unapologetically um fighting for for something you know for something right unapologetically fighting and um that's i just want some some fresh blood i don't care if it's yellow green blue orange woman tiger tiger king <laughs> whatever you know, but it's, it's just sad that they're not even giving us no good options. I don't I don't want old Joe. I really don't. Like, I understand. What, Delaware loved that man. Delaware got this un, unfound, unconditional love for this man. But me, I just, I, I, I don't know. I look at him like, you know, like the friend that you take along that's not going to do much, but you want them to come anyway. You know what I mean? He, he that friend. He not going, he not going to add to the trip. He not going to take away from the trip, but like, you know, you, you don't mind him being on a trip with you. Yeah. I'm going to show y'all the backyard too. Cause Aline, um, got the yard done. He, I had two grills back there. Um, we put them out on the curb and of course the scrap metal people, they came in. I heard the guy loading it up. I looked out there. I was like, I knew it wouldn't be on the sidewalk long, but, um, he got it fixed up back there. So now the hands, they do know how to still get through this one little slit in, um, in the back of the gate because like I'm sitting in front of my house now. So my street go like this and then it's a corner, the corner turn right there. So the other houses go down that way and my street go this way. So the people backyards, 
sort of sit in the back of my backyard. And so he know how to get through the slit. And um, but he find he come right on back. The the one don't like people. The one don't like people at all. So as soon as people come, uh, he get ghosts. So last night when I went out there to check on him, um, yeah, when I went out there to check on him, it was like one of them was like protecting. I'm like, I got y'all. Let her make let her make the wrong move. I I got y'all. But, uh, yeah, I'm rambling on. It's like I don't want to talk about what everybody else is talking about. Okay, we seen Black AF. I'm, I'm really pissed that everybody is mad at that TV show. Listen, everybody ain't growing up hood. Why y'all mad? Because if it's any parents out there, your children not, if you struggle, your children not going through the struggle you're going through. Like, literally, like, I remember making Kool-Aid for my kids because I have, um, I was buying Hawaiian punch for them. Like, that. if I, they wanted juice, it was always, I would get the, you know, the big thing of Hawaiian punch. And then I remember the day I made some Kool-Aid, and they couldn't believe, you made this. They didn't even know what Kool-Aid was. So it's not, everybody out there is not growing up, you know, growing up with the struggle. And things has changed. The more years that go on, the less children are struggling, at, at least from the parents who care. Like, my daughter got her house, and I furnished her whole house. I bought my daughter her first car. I'm not living in the lap of luxury. I work hard. And what else what, what else would I want to do with my money but to, to see my children happy? I was able to buy my daughter her first car. I took her on a used car line, told her, get whatever car you want. Ain't no difference than somebody taking their, you know, somebody who's super duper rich, buying their kids. You don't have to be super duper rich. It's no, it, it it's all in what you want to do with your money. Bought my daughter her first car. I plan on buying my son his first car. My daughter got her first house. I furnished the whole entire thing. I furnished the whole thing except for her dining room set. She bought that. But everything else in the house, the, the kids' bunk beds, the furniture in the living room, the... um her bed set in her in her bedroom and she had the nerve to want one of them big you know them headboards that everybody got with the diamonds the upholstered one with the diamonds and stuff and then her her dresser got the mirrors and stuff yeah but you know pick whatever you want whatever you want boo i'm not rich but i work hard i work hard and i remember i started my youtube channel and people would like be clowning me because of my job profession but honey me and my children are happy we are happy and um everybody out here is not struggling everybody don't have that struggle life the things i went through my children will never have to go through there was times that my me and my family had to eat rice for a week my kids don't know that struggle you know and and I'm, it's refreshing to see other it's, it's refreshing to see a black family on tv that's not acting all hood and ghetto we had enough of those shows we had enough of those shows we have evolved we are now educated and our children are educated and we're able to give our children more you know um Aleem's friend girl girlfriend her mom is a nurse the girl crashed her car they brought her a Lexus, you know, like nobody is struggling I, 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 well not nobody some people are struggling but everybody is not living that struggle life no more and um i'm sorry people y'all gonna have to get over it i'm sorry that them days are over everybody is not struggling no more i'll be darned if my kids struggle i don't want them to be jealous of, i've always told them i don't want you to be jealous of nobody because of nothing if you see something you want work hard and you can get it come tell me i might not be able to afford it but me and your dad might be able to afford it if we can't afford it you got people out there that's you know you got aunts that you can ask you know, but, um, you don't have to be without, no, it's a lot of kids, you know, you don't even really see kids walking to the bus stop no more with their hair all over their head and stuff, moms is really taking care of their children, moms is taking care of their children, a lot of them, you know, so, it, I, I just, I, I, I can't, I can't understand why everybody mad as, at Black AF, I mean, what did you want, like, think of how you felt when they made that movie, Don't Be a Menace, while drinking your juice in the hood, in the depiction of our people that they put out there, you know, think of the depiction of, of the thought that people are getting in their heads about us because of all these movies, and you're like, we don't do that, you know, but you rather see that, than to see people doing better for themselves. Y'all need to cut that out. Y'all need to y'all need to pick a fight. And and that ain't the fight. That ain't the fight to pick. Because um it's a lot of it's a lot more millionaires out here whose children are growing up that way. Uh, um the entertainment business made it that way. The entertainment business afforded a lot of African Americans to live a different life. 
and that's just that's just on period you gotta think of the little girl Regine. she probably never went through nothing she i'm sure lived like that you know it, it, it's it, it's educated people out here it's a lot of black doctors down here in jacksonville black women doctors uh dr bell was alim and jamia's um i couldn't i couldn't believe i found the black woman doctor down here with her own practice i made it my business to get my kids to go to that doctor's office until she wouldn't have um certain vaccinations and would try to send me off somewhere and i'm like i'm not comfortable with that i'm used to my children getting their vaccinations from their doctor i don't want to have to go over here to get no vaccinations but i was with dr bell for years and then i um switched the kids doctor's office but um but it was refreshing even when Eileen broke his leg and they had to do x-rays and stuff it was like black female doctors that was coming in there and it just made me so proud so y'all gonna tell me that she her kids and her sitting on the porch with a struggle they out here struggling i don't think so unless she choose it to be that way you know but um but i am gonna get off of here so i can go put my shrimps in the refrigerator it's rather warm down here in jacksonville i got the windows up <laughs> uh chrissy's supposed to do my hair and braids and i really was saving this ponytail for when after i took my braids out but i ordered hair i ordered braid hair online because all the um hair stores of course was closed so i figured i'd do an order online from this place called ebony nine line and it's taking absolutely forever for the hair to get here and i just want i just want my long big flat fat plants so i could just be like period i just feel like i might have to be like period <laughs> you know sometimes hair give you a whole new personality <laughs> sometimes hair give you a whole new personality you might feel real prissy you might feel sexy that's why when jamia was going through her little um uh postpartum depression after she had bella i told her you know go let get your hair done go get some new clothes you know just certain things make you feel good you know you look in the mirror like whoa oh my mama <laughs> i look good <laughs> but uh I hope I entertained you this morning. I hope I took your mind off of things. I try not to talk about too many deep things. And I try not to, as I said, talk about things that other people are talking about. I've been just kind of trying to let it flow. I've sat down and tried to make lists of things like to do like a little word on the curb. But I'm just like, everybody is talking about the same thing because nothing is really happening. I mean, you got it to the point where um, celebrities, I go every time I go on YouTube, a new celebrity got a YouTube channel. And I'm like, listen, this was my hustle. I was trying to come up over here and you was over there on the big screen now you over here on the teeny weeny screen on the phone like get away from us you don't even go here <laughs> all right i wish you love peace and prosperity thank you for watching my video please keep your family safe wash your hands and keep your um keep your orifices covered <laughs>